Attraction can be mysterious at times, and scientists have tried to figure out what makes girls so attracted to guys and vice versa. But every single day, you see couples that don't seem to fit the mold. The truth is that most guys want to attract girls. They might tell you otherwise, but as men, it is in our DNA to want to have a beautiful woman by our side, to take on this thing that we call life with us. Oddly enough, most guys will find that beautiful girls don't actually want to be by their side until they develop a mindset of not actually needing the girl. When it comes to attraction, for the most part, men are simple. Men are very visual and on a primal level, most of us desire a girl with a thin, fit body and some decent curves. But when it comes to what girls want in a guy, all bets seem to be off. When thinking about it logically, most girls will say that they want a guy who is nice and sweet, which is what we all know is the nice guy. But when it really comes down to the raw traits that attract girls to guys, you'll find that the words nice and sweet go right out the window. The funny thing is, girls know very well what guys want, which is why they have makeup, slimming clothes, and Photoshop. Girls play the game, and they play it well just like they've been doing since the beginning of time. So why is it that most guys seem to have so much trouble understanding what girls want in a guy? What is that special sauce that attracts girls like a magnet? What is that one thing that overpowers even a man's visual appearance? This is what you're about to find out. But first, consider this study that will completely blow your mind. Psychologists at a university took pictures of the same guy sitting in two different cars. In one picture, the man was sitting in an older, battered Ford Fiesta, and in the other picture, the same man was sitting inside of a $100,000 Bentley. Now, the girls who took part in the study were between the ages of 21 and 40, and when asked to rate the attractiveness of the same guy sitting in two different cars, the man sitting in the Bentley was rated much higher than the same exact guy when he was sitting in the Ford Fiesta. Men were also tested using the same tactics, and as you would imagine, the men couldn't care less what car the girl was driving, because as men, we judge girls almost exclusively by their face and their body, or their physical appearance. So you're probably wondering what this has to do with attraction. You hear guys saying things like, she only likes you because of your money. And according to this study, it's actually true. But it goes much deeper than that. It's more than just having money and there is actually something else that almost completely eliminates the need to have money to attract girls. What if I told you that? If you could master this one trait, you could activate the primal switch of attraction within any girl without the need for wealth or millions of dollars. It is important to understand that money is really just an indicator that girls use to gauge the presence of something else, something much more important. You see, in many cases, people who have money have it because they have other traits that help them to earn it. Obviously, this isn't true for everyone. A lot of people in today's society get free money from inheritance or something similar and never had to lift a finger to actually earn it. So money doesn't always indicate the presence of desirable traits in a man, but in many cases, it does. So what is money actually a symbol of? What is the underlying trait that, once mastered, can attract any girl? The answer, my friends, is power. It's the one thing that every man in the world is constantly fighting to get more of. And it's something that is even more intoxicating than supreme wealth. And the best thing about power is that, with the right knowledge, it's fairly easy to develop. Think about this for a second. We all know those guys from school who are constantly getting into trouble with the law. Most of them tend to look the same, for whatever reason. And most guys in school view them as the bad boys. These guys might never do anything meaningful in their lives but girls can't seem to get enough of them. If you don't know anything about how attraction really works, none of this makes any sense. I mean, why would girls be so attracted to these guys who seem to have nothing going for them? They obviously can't provide financially, and since they're constantly getting into trouble, they're probably not even good fathers. The trait that all of these guys have in common is power. Girls will always talk bad about these guys behind their back to other girls and to nice guys, but when in their presence, you'll see them act completely different. It's as if all logic goes out the window and a switch is pulled inside of the girl's brain that makes her instantly attracted to the bad boy. The good news is that no, you don't have to become this type of guy to make girls attracted to you. In fact, even something as simple as becoming a fireman or a police officer can flip the switch. But I'm not recommending that you join these occupations just to attract girls. 
The point here is that power is the one thing that flips the primal switch of attraction within every girl. It doesn't mean that it will lead to a good relationship, especially with a guy who's always getting into trouble. But the fact is, we can't deny that it works. Power is the one trait that all girls find irresistible. And the neat thing about it is that you don't even really have to have it, but you must be able to project it when in the presence of girls. There's also no denying that girls go bonkers over guys who are very physically attractive. Girls also love famous guys. They love guys who have tons of money. They even like guys who are really funny. But what is it about power that attracts any girl? What makes it such a powerful trait that girls will ignore almost everything else about a guy just for a chance to experience it? To understand this question, we have to go way back. Back to a time when humans were only just learning how to fend for themselves in the wild. These days, when we're hungry, we simply drive a block or two to the store and grab something to eat. And when we're feeling really lazy, we can just order a pizza or a burger from a local fast food store. When is the last time that you built a shelter in the wilderness or slayed a wild boar for food? If you're like most people, probably never. And you probably will never have to. But if we go deep into the past, these were things humans actually had to do. In this time period, girls had to choose guys who could do all of these things and provide for them and their children. And during this time, if a girl chose the wrong guy, they wouldn't survive. The underlying trait here is power. But power is a loose term to describe men who were independent, educated, confident, or in control. Power is really just an umbrella term for several important traits. And if I had to come up with one word to describe it as best as I can, I would say independence. Something that you need to understand is that the polar opposite of power is neediness. And it's the one trait that will repel all girls. All of the bad boys in school, girls find them attractive because they're independent. One of the most attractive things for a girl is a guy who wants a girl but doesn't need her. As men, we should always have love for girls, but the moment a girl feels like you need her, instead of wanting her, the attraction will begin to fade away. A famous quote says that power is the ultimate aphrodisiac. This is true, but you must understand that power, when viewed by a girl, can take many different forms. For some girls, a powerful man is one who plays for an NFL team. For others, it's a police officer or someone who helps other people. In other situations, it might even be a teacher or even just a man who's really independent. At its core, power is basically just a display to show girls that a man is not needed. Even on a visual level, power is linked to everything. Think about it, a strong jawline is an indication of power. Beautiful eyes in a man produce powerful eye contact. Being tall and strong with muscles are other indications of power. When you're tall and strong, or even just strong, you have power over other men and most guys will respect you more. It's not so much about the muscles themselves, but more about the power and the respect that you gain from having them that makes many girls attracted to you. Studies show that girls feel greater attraction to a guy who looks serious than a guy who is smiling. If we look at it from an evolutionary perspective, girls are attracted to powerful men on a primal level because they are more likely to be able to care for the girl and her offspring. Even though we live in a society where girls don't need to be protected from bears or wild animals, the part of their brain that determines attraction hasn't gone away, and it's just as strong now as it was thousands of years ago. And in many situations, this part of a girl's brain that guarantees survival will completely override common sense and logic. Most of us men are on a never-ending quest to obtain power, because subconsciously or intuitively, we know that we will gain many benefits from it, not just with girls, but in the world overall. In some studies, it was found that men with a dominant personality were much more likely to end up with more girls over their lifetime than very good looking guys who have a weak, passive personality. Many guys have status but fail to convey their power, which is why you have many tech moguls who've made millions of dollars but still don't do well with girls. On the flip side, you have guys who are constantly in and out of jail, enjoying time with all types of girls, just because they're better at conveying power. So what does this mean for you? It means that as long as you can project power, even if you're not really powerful yet, you can enjoy the benefits that come from being a powerful man. With the help of charm, humor, proper body language, assertiveness, and other traits of an alpha male, you can become a powerful man in the eyes of everyone around you. 
even if you don't have millions of dollars and work at the local Walmart. It is important to understand that power can be displayed from several different angles, and some of the most well-known examples are body language, social status, income, and physical appearance. The more angles that you're able to master, the harder you'll be able to throw the primal attraction switch within the mind of any girl. And in the coming videos, you'll learn everything you need to know to start projecting and actually creating power immediately. Right now, we're almost 200,000 subscribers strong, and it's all thanks to you, the person on the other side of this screen. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.